Mary Stoker Smith, Chief Meteorologist Vince Condella, and Tom Pippen Sports. Fox 6 News, because you matter. Aurora, Newtown, Oak Creek. Communities now synonymous with mass shooting tragedies. Police say the next one could be anywhere. Tonight, police take our Ben Handelman inside a training mission in what might be the last place you'd expect. It is a story you'll see only on Fox 6. And God, we pray that you would enter into our lives. We worship a living God. And when we come together, we're here to worship him, to celebrate him. Sunday service fills the Westbrook Church in Heartland with sound. Worship through the sung word. God, we know that you. Through the spoken word. You reward those who. You got a six person team. Each you have one magazine for the rifle. We pray that you would begin a peaceful process. service this day. Move. About to change. <laughs> Inside the auditorium. Help! I'm dying! Help! Bodies cover the ground. I'm gonna shoot! Two shooters are on the loose. Law enforcement arrives on the scene and moves in. Left. Right, left. left. Sooner you get in, the more efficient you get in, the less chances of fatalities occurring. Stay down, stay down, stay down. This is a first of its kind training exercise. Got a hallway to my right, Cap. Hallway to my right. Law enforcement from around the state. Boom. All here as part of Waukesha County Technical College's active shooter training. Training, training, training. It's the most important thing, and it's proven to be. Brian Doro is the Dean of Criminal Justice at WCTC. For all bases in a three. He's held active shooter scenarios in the past. But never like this. We incorporate sound. You heard a gunshot. Help! Help! You heard the screaming. You, you saw the role players. I'll shoot! Never before has his program trained inside a church or such a large facility. The active shooter, the mass murderer, is not particular to location anymore. You guys take one additional rifle. Michael Cuspa. And you guys. Is one of four instructors helping more than two dozen cops gear up and run through scenarios. When you deal with rows of pews or rows of seating, uh, it's very difficult. Move. We're really grateful for all the work that they do and, and feel this is a way that we can give back to them. So, Senior Pastor Scott yeah. Grabendyke says the decision for his church to take part is a no-brainer. Oh, Creek 911, where's your emergency? He's in a church with a gun. I can hear it in there. He's in there shooting people. He's in there <laughs> shooting people? His memory is still fresh from his phone going off in the middle of a church security meeting last August. We actually stopped the meeting when I got that text and we gathered everybody together and we prayed. The firing already lifting around here. Okay, we have officers there. Six people died at the Sikh Temple in Oak Creek. Three more died here at the Azana Salon in Brookfield. The latest examples of why WCTC says this training is needed now more than ever. We don't fool ourselves into thinking that we are the exception to the rule that we are vulnerable like any church. So if that means disengaging from that person to watch their backs. Grabendyke says this will not be the last time you'll see cops training in his church. Okay, I need two people to go with the other two people. If it helps us as a church, uh, that's wonderful. If it helps another church, if it helps the law enforcement community, it's just a win-win. Stay down, sir. Stay down. Stay down. Putting faith in exercises that are necessary. Hands on is in custody. But hopefully won't be needed. Are we all clear? Anytime soon. The problem is over. Go ahead and reholster. In Heartland, Ben Handelman, Fox 6 News. WCTC has several active training sessions per year. In the past, they've held scenarios in schools, vacant buildings, and even a movie theater. You know, five years ago, we would have said it's absurd, but now.